Hello family, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela. Thank you so much for joining. If you're new here, this channel is all about beauty, fashion, and life. If you're returning, thank you so much. Let's start over, because my husband just reminded me. <laughs> okay. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela. If you're new here, my channel is all about beauty, fashion, and life, and then particularly for women over 40. If you're returning, thank you so much for your continued support. I honestly, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate it. Today's video is not my typical fashion video. If you know anything about me, if you watch some of my previous videos, you know that I absolutely love perfume. And my favorite category of perfumes is the fruity scent or the fruity floral, but more fruity than floral, but I absolutely love fruity scents, but I love perfume altogether. One of the things I've decided to do instead of blind buying, because I've blind bought a few perfumes based on some recommendations or based on some reviews of for some perfumers that I actually admire and, um, yeah, it didn't work out for me. So I decided I would not blind buy anything else anymore period so i recently heard uh someone talking about this website called max aroma they have like purse size perfumes and they have samples so i went on there and i purchased two purse size perfumes and they're eight ounces each and i also went to a website perfumes de marley because i heard so much about the perfumes there delina i smelled and i purchased it but unfortunately it's stuck in the u.s with my daughter um but i did purchase one of their discovery sets and I didn't want to blind buy anything from anybody anymore because like the perfumes de Marley's full-size bottles are around $320 each yes um, the BDK sample eight ounce they're not samples they're per size they cost me approximately $20 each which I don't mind paying $20 for eight ounces it's a nice size out you'll get to see that in a few minutes so I was okay with that and the perfumes the Marley was a discovery set and the entire set cost me about $32 and it had five different samples two I haven't smelled yet but I tried the other three throughout the week and just to see how they flow with my skin and if they were um, something that I like if they had lasting power if they had CIs, my first impression and everything. So I'll give you all the information if you stay tuned. All right, let's get started. two I'm going to show you I actually purchased these I smelled these beforehand and I purchased them because I, I like them so this first one is pulp by Byredo my husband and I went to the store when we went to the mall we went to the perfume store and I smelled this and I immediately look <laughs> I'm laughing because he's back there frowning I <laughs> I fell in love with this I must say or I must admit when I smelled this in the store I got this immediate sense of like biting into a juicy mango raspberry cherry type of fruit i've never eaten like it, it the smell that i could taste the smell i don't know I, 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 I don't know any other way to describe it but when i got home it smelled a little different now i was in the store and i had already been smelling like 10 different perfumes so i still like the scent but let me just say it smells like pure alcohol. It smells like alcohol. So this is characterized as a, my notes are in front of you. This is characterized as a fruity floral fragrance and it's designed to be a unisex fragrance. I, I just really don't imagine or can't imagine this on a man at all. It smells very feminine to me, not flowery, but it smells like a, a feminine fragrance. It's not masculine. There's nothing masculine about this at all. It has top notes of bergamot, cardamom, and black currant. It has middle notes of fig, red apple, tear flower, and it has base notes of cedar, praline, and peach blossom. Now, this is a very polarizing fragrance because again, my husband does not like this at all. But what I did, I sprayed this on. He didn't like it. And I decided I um, 
soften it up a bit. I, I sprayed just one spray of musk on top of it and it kind of toned it down and softened it a bit. This is not office appropriate whatsoever. This is very polarizing. Some people are gonna like it, some people are gonna absolutely hate it. It's a very intense, unique smell. Um, it smells of a very ripe fruit that's been soaked in alcohol. You can absolutely like smell booze. I don't not any particular cognac or um, vodka, but it just smells very, very boozy. It reminds me of, have you ever been to a party and you they have the fruit with the alcohol soaking and they've drank all the alcohol and the fruit that's sitting in the bottom of the bowl that soaked up some of that alcohol, that's, that's kind of what it smells like. So if you don't like a very, very ripe fruit smell mixed with a little booze, you are not going to like this at all. It's a very unique scent. It's not like any other fruity perfume or I've ever smelled, honestly. It's not, and there are some fruity scents over here and I have some fruity scents. I've never smelled any. This is a very mature, by mature I mean grown, not juvenile fruity scent at all anyway well it costs too much money for children but it's a very mature fruit type scent it's not a juvenile scent at all it's very complex it's very layered it doesn't smell like any one particular fruit it smells like just a collective of juicy <laughs> juicy just like a ripe peach a ripe plum not a not banana a ripe <laughs> like, it's like grapefruit to me. Really? Grapefruit in the trash can. No, honey. No. No. I think the musk helps when I sprayed the musk perfume on it, kind of knocked the boozy kind of scent away. It softened it a great, great deal. Now, the sillage on this is everything. You spray this, you're gonna just gonna leave a scent trail. The longevity is amazing. I sprayed this on, I smelled it all day, eight, nine hours. I came home, I could still smell a hint of it on my clothes. Not so much on my skin, but I could still smell it. I, I, I really like this. My husband hates it. So my next perfume, I purchased this as well, is this <laughs> Rouge Travel Gore. And I'm laughing because, so I went in the store, I tried it. They had a regular 100 ounce bottle for one price. And you know, the man got me. So it was like, you can buy that one or you can get for this price or for just 50% more, you can get double. It's like, well, I'm Okay, why not? Because I love this. I sampled this probably four or five months ago. I had a little sample bottle and I sprayed it. It's, when I sprayed it, oh, this smells so good. I immediately fell in love with it. I was like, oh, this smells really, really good. And now you'll see why in a second. So this is classified as a shoe. Oh, did y'all see that? Wait a minute. It has a metallic top. It's so bad. Anyway, this is characterized as a Sheepra. Dior considers this a couture fragrance. Yes, they do. So this has top notes of strawberry, raspberry, mandarin orange, and cherry. It has middle notes of grapefruit and black currant, and it has base notes of patchouli and musk. So this is a very, very fruity scent, but the patchouli and the musk kind of grounds it so that it's not overpowering. It's fruity, but not sweet. It's unique, it's bold, it smells expensive. It smells like a nice, rich, fruity champagne with the little bubblies. It goes up to your nose like this, like a tart, rich, a sorbet that you would get at a hotel when you're on vacation, lounging with the towel wrapped around your head. And you got the little fruit right there and they bring you a little sorbet. This is what that would smell like. It's just very, very beautiful. It has, it's balanced. Even though it's fruity, it's balanced. It's juicy, it's beautiful, it's suitable for a woman. It's, it's fruity in a, a, a woman sophisticated way, not like a girly kind of teenage way. This is like your grown woman fruit scent. If you like Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secrets, the fruity scents that they really rarely don't care anymore, then you'll love this. It's expensive. 
Now the sillage on this is not really great because it's fruit and it's a, it's a fruity scent, it's a light scent. You'll get a scent bubble around you, but it's not something that's gonna flow behind you. The longevity is it's okay, it's not bad. It'll uh, last maybe six hours. So if you want to smell like this all day, then you may wanna take a little travel size with you, but this is a beautiful, beautiful scent. It's primarily a spring, summer scent, but if you like fruit, you can wear what you wanna wear, when you wanna wear it, and it, whatever season it is. As I stated earlier, because I don't believe in blind buying, but I do believe in paying for a, a nice hefty sample, if, if you will. Um, this perfume is called Passe Soie by BDK. I kept hearing this buzz about BDK perfumes, BDK perfumes, and I was like, okay, let me try. Some people that I really, really like on YouTube who have perfume channels, so why not? So I, again, I went on Max Aroma and I purchased two BDK fragrances, and this is one of them. When you buy a purse, I think this is called a pocket sample or a pocket size. But anyway, we, and they're eight ounces. When you buy these, they come in this Max Aroma um, refillable sample here. They're not labeled at all. So what I did, because I bought two and I wanted to know which one was which, there's a little sticker that comes on the outside of the box. So I just pulled the sticker off carefully off the box and I put it on here so I'll know exactly what's in here. And it's a twist up top like this. And it comes out like this. See, that's a nice, that's a nice amount. And this cost me $20. Um, each perfume or cologne is the price is different based on the purchase price of a full-size bottle but these were $20 each the full-size bottles are 100 milliliters and about $180 so $20 was okay for me so this is classified as a floral this smells amazing I give this a swoon worthy swoon worthy rating which means this is this is our buy I will buy a full bottle of this. The top notes are black pepper, ginger, and mandarin orange. The middle notes are Moroccan jasmine, quince, and orange blossom. Orange blossom smells really good. It has base notes of casmarine, amberwood, and Singapore patchouli. I don't know how this they mix this up, but this smells good. Now I'm gonna spray this on here. Now this is uh a tag from one of my Zara shirts. I saw Britney Pocket and Bowes do this. Oh, that was a perfect, perfect idea. I have a thousand of these that I threw away. No, I don't. Not really. My husband's watching. My husband's watching. He usually so, up on his side of the bed. So I decided I'd do that too. Thank you, Britney, for the tip. Oh, this is so nice. This is warm. It's rich. It's creamy it has a bright tangy sweet note it's a little fruity but not too sugary or juvenile more of a classy smell it's soft it's warm oh it opens with like a spring summer type vibe but then it has a little fruit on the end of it and that casmaran just warms it up so it's Perfect, absolutely perfect for fall or early spring when it's still a little cool, then it gets warm. And then like fall when it's still warm, then it gets a little cool. This is really nice. This is nice when you're mostly covered up, but you still have a little skin. So you spray this on where the sun hits it. It's gonna warm it up and it's gonna give you a nice sea eyes, but not too strong, not too musky. This is perfect just like perfect for the fall it's not heavy and it's not too light just a perfect perfect fall scent the longevity is great the sillage is great i wore this a couple of days at work oh i sprayed it on before i left in the morning i leave home around 6 6 15 then i get home around 5 5 30 and i can still smell this on my clothes a little bit on my arm but i this is perfect <music> So the second perfume I purchased from Max Aroma by BDK is pronounced Grease Charnel. Now, uh, the same person that recommended, well, didn't recommend that, did a review on that one, did a review on this one, and stated they absolutely love to see this why I don't blind buy anymore. Stated they absolutely, absolutely love this one. Mm -mm. Yep, I don't like it. I do not. <laughs> I don't like it. 
is classified as an oriental spicy um, scent. I keep trying to pull it off. You can't pull it off. You gotta twist it up and you can pull it out, but you can't pull it off. I keep doing that. Um, let me spray it just to see. Ooh, I sprayed it on my hand. I ain't gonna like that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, something in here that I don't like. It. Um, it has top notes of fig, black tea, and cardamom. It has middle notes of iris and bourbon vetiver. And it has base notes of sandalwood and tonka beans. See, I love sandalwood and tonka bean in men's fragrances and in some women's fragrances. I think what the issue is for me in this one is it probably has the combination of the cardamom and the black tea. I don't think I, I don't think I like this. It is so, it's, it's supposed to be a unisex fragrance, but this smells very masculine to me. I, I would not, as a woman, wear this. It's uh, he, like it probably heavy on the vetiver. It has like a, a old. It's like an old minty smell. Not mint. It has an old masculine note to it that I'm just not. Nah. Oh. It's a very. Yeah, let me say something. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. It's a very spicy, woodsy scent, but they're, it's very masculine. I don't feel it's unisex at all. It does have excellent longevity and sillage, but let me, I don't know if the sillage is great or is it because I don't like it that I can continue to smell it. I can smell it from a long ways or if it, the longevity is great because I don't like it and it lasted all day. I can smell it all day, but it's just not, it's just not for me. I can. Sorry, it's not for me. It smells very complex and, and very layered. It smells like something someone would love. It's not a bad fragrance. It's just not one that I'm in love with. So the next three perfumes are by Perfumes de Marley and they came in this discovery box. It's really, really cute. This is, this is cute, this is classy. I'll put it back in here so you just, so you can see. So it comes like this, has your little booklet with all the uh, fragrance notes in, in it. It's really cute, really classy. The first one is called Meliora. Oh, yes. Yes, this, this, this smells like, like they're sisters. This smells good. This is characterized as a floral green. I don't know why it's called a floral green because it didn't smell floral to me at all. It smells very, very fruity. It has top notes of red berries, cassis, and black currant. It has middle notes of rose, lily of the valley, and ylang ylang. And it has base notes of vanilla and musk. Kind of like the other one, right? So it has the fruit and then it has the musk and the vanilla to soften it up. If you love fruity fragrances like that one, if you love just a nice springy kind of fragrance, you will love this. Again, this is really nice. But it's a fruity, but in a grown woman, mature kind of way. Like a sophisticated level of fruity. It's making my mouth water. This, this smells delicious. It's sharp. It's refreshing. It has a, a nice citrus kind of fruity apple kind of opening it's airy delicate it's very i would think this would be very very mass appealing but a lot of people would like this a lot of ladies would like this but it dries down to a soft powdery tropical fruit with cream kind of note this this smells like the kind of fruit that you smell when you're on vacation when you get a hint of the fruit like if you're in jamaica you get the fruit but you get a hint of flowers as well that kind of fruit not just a like the um, Barreto, the fruit bowl kind of thing. It's a combination of fruit and flowers. It's just, it's beautiful. It has excellent longevity and sillage. This would be the perfect perfume to take on like a tropical vacation. If you're going to some sort of island and you want something that's just gonna make you feel summery or islandy, this would be the perfect scent to take for you. The next scent is Athalia by Perfume de Marley. Let me spray this card. Remind myself what it smells like. This is classified as a floral woody musk. Oh, this is nice. It has top notes of bitter orange and incense, middle notes of orange blossom, and base notes of musk and vanilla. 
the word that comes to mind with this is comforting. Like it's just soft and just perfect example. See the sheep skin. If this perfume was a tactile feel, God, that smells so good. This is it right here. It's just so soft. It's warm from the opening. It has an amber musky dry down and has a beautiful, nice, warm, amber musky sillage as well. It's powdery. Do you remember? I don't know, but I'm, I'm 50, so. Back in the day when your mother and your grandmother used to get that round, it used to be pink or blue. It had a powder and it had a big powder puff in it and they would puff, 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 puff. <laughs> the way that powder puff felt kind of like this, this is what that reminds me of. It's, but it, it smells like powder and musk but in an expensive way. Not like the Javon drugstore musk, but just like a, a warm, rich, cashmere mink soft comforting winter kind of scent it's classy like a little black dress and a nice red lipstick this is a perfect winter just like cold winter type scent because it's so comforting and warm like at home in montana kind of winter in the house burning the wood like that time like that time of year when it's Christmas vacation, when everybody's come over but they've gone home and now it's just you and your husband and your kids and everybody has on the matching pajamas and the socks and they're drinking, they're drinking their little hot chocolate and you're drinking your hot chocolate toddy. This is what that is right here. This has excellent longevity. I sprayed it, it lasted all day. The, the sillage was nice, just a nice smooth Hennessy cognac kind of warmth. Yes, she's definitely smooth, swoon worthy. I want this. Honey, I want this. I want <laughs> okay. this, yes. Now this is my last scent and this is by Perfume Damali as well and it's called Safanade. I think I'm pronouncing it, who knows. Oh, this smells good. This smells good. It's characterized as a floral, yeah, smell it. It has top notes of orange and pear. It has middle notes of orange blossom, ylang ylang and iris. And has base notes of amber, sandalwood and vanilla. This is beautiful. It smells expensive. It smells elegant. It smells timeless. It smells multi-generational. It smells like something that the teenage girl would like, the sophisticated woman would like, the grandmother would like. This is beautiful. It's smooth, it's bright on the opening, but it's just really smooth. And even though it has top notes of orange and pear, it does not smell fruity at all to me. I guess that's why it's still classified as a floral. I really, really smell the orange blossom in this. Not so much the ylang ylang, it smells like the uh, orange blossom the sound of wood and vanilla kind of with a hint of amber in it. This is a perfect everyday scent. It's a perfect signature scent, an all occasion, all year scent. This is something you can wear with sneakers and a t-shirt or something you can wear on communion Sunday. This is just an all around great, great scent. You can wear this to the office. It's not gonna be offensive. I do think this would be very, very mass appealing. Not that you're gonna smell it a lot in the masses because these perfumes, these perfume, the Marley perfumes are about $300, $320 per bottle. Hence, <laughs> I have this little sample pack. Yes, there would be no blind buying any of that. The longevity of all these um, perfume Damali fragrances that I've tried so far, I do have a couple more in there. I'll try those in another, or I'll describe those in another um, video, but they all had great longevity and great sillage. I guess they have a lot of oils in them, based on that. That makes sense because of the price, but this is beautiful. This is, I would recommend any of those three scents if you like those. The one that was very fruity, the other one was very, very soft, and this is somewhere in the middle. Just a great line of perfumes, absolutely beautiful.
thank you so much I really really hope you enjoyed this video I know it's not my normal haul video or fashion video but again if you know me you know that I absolutely love perfumes I believe that perfume should be a part of your everyday routine like putting on your shoes and put it on your shirt I never leave out of the house without a fragrance as a matter of fact I wear a light scent when I go to bed at night and my husband just don't understand why you need to wear perfume and you're about to go to sleep but I always wear like something soft because I sleep on my stomach so I'm going to sleep and I'm like this and it's so nice to have a nice little scent to doze off too I just <laughs> I just love it. So again, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. If you like to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos and, and feel free to share this. I, I would really appreciate it. It will help me out a great deal. Again, thank you so much. Have a blessed day.